We want to turn now to the Americas to look at the stories coming out of the U.S. and across Latin America. Tonight, all eyes are on Nicaragua. President Daniel Ortega celebrates his re-election. He's marking the beginning of a fourth consecutive term, but leaders from around the world are calling the election a sham. On the streets of Managua, Nicaragua's capital, some may be celebrating, but across the world, outrage over what some are describing as a sham election. Daniel Ortega overwhelmingly winning the presidential race, his wife the vice president. The power-hungry couple now in charge for five more years. But don't credit their campaign, rather their crackdown. Ortega was first voted in in 1984, ruling until 1990, and most recently re-elected in 2007. But now the 75-year-old has done anything and everything to stay in power. From reportedly launching political troll farms on social media to promote his agenda and crush his critics, to jailing dissidents and even detaining several presidential challengers, effectively destroying the opposition and campaigning unopposed. Echoes of discontent were heard not only in Nicaragua, but thousands of miles away. As the elections were taking place, hundreds took to the streets in Los Angeles. Gretel Campbell is the founder of Nicaragua Libre Los Angeles and was one of the organizers. I spoke to her days before the election. How bad is Nicaragua right now? It's really, really bad. We have a regime that has control of every single power of the states. Why should the U.S. care about what happens in the Nicaraguan election? Because we don't have justice, we don't have democracy, and we don't have freedom. It's not only affecting Nicaragua people, but it's going to affect the whole American continent. And now that the results have been called, Gretel is bracing for a bleak future for Nicaragua. Ortega or Jean must be declared illegitimate as soon as possible. President Biden releasing a statement on Sunday writing, what Nicaraguan President Daniel Ortega and his wife, Vice President Rosario Murillo, orchestrated today was a pantomime election that was neither free nor fair and most certainly not democratic. In moving away from the U.S., Ortega has moved closer to other countries like Russia, Cuba and Venezuela. But with pending sanctions and a struggling economy, an increase in migration to the U.S. is expected, adding to pressure across the Americas. To Ortega, I just want to, I just want to let him know that people from Nicaragua, we don't want him anymore in our country. It will, we're going to keep fighting and fighting and fighting until he get out. But this is our country, not his country. And one more point, independent observers were barred from reviewing the election process and journalists were barred from entering the country. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.